Here we're going to have a look at the fourth layout that we're going to do using um, Oxygen Builder and we're looking at the single product template. So we'll add our fourth template. Inherit the headers and footers, singular products, and the priority will give us number four. Save. And now we'll edit with oxygen. Loading oxygen. Oxygen loaded. We will activate the structure panel. Add the section, add WooCommerce product builder. And in this case, we're going to load columns and we're going to add two columns. And what we're essentially going to do is have the pricing visible permanently on the right hand side and on the left hand side, allow the product to scroll up and down the page. So to do that, we head over into the size and spacing. We're going to make that a uniform 20 pixels all around. We're going to set the width to a full width layout. And in the column uh, size, we're going to make this 70% and that will make the final column 30%. And now we're going to add our elements. So Inside this column, we're going to add two divs. And we'll duplicate that div. We'll make both divs 100% in width. And then what we'll do is we'll place them next to each other and not stacked vertically. So here they are stacked horizontally and now we're going to add the product image on the left hand side and here on the right hand side add the product title add the product price add the product excerpt and we'll add the product meta and on the far right hand side, we're going to add a div. And inside that div, we're going to add the cart buttons. Right. So with that in place, let's just do a little bit of formatting before we look at it on the front end. So we're going to look at the font weight here and drop that down to 500. The font size, we're going to drop that down a bit as well. The whole layout in this column, we're going to change a little bit. So let's make that centered. And what we'll do on the text is we're going to have that left aligned. We're going to give that a gap of 20 pixels in margin. When it comes to the price, we're going to once again, just go for a uniform red and we're going to change the font weight to 500 so it's easier to read and we're going to change the font size so that it's nice and big. And then what we'll do is we'll give that uh, 20 pixels underneath and then we come to the product excerpt. So the product excerpt we will give a size and spacing and we'll give that a 15 pixels on the left and 15 on the right and then we're going to give that 20 pixels margin at the bottom so that we have the um, little bit of a gap there and then as far as this um, content goes we'll center that and then we'll go to that div and that Div that wraps the element, we'll make that 100%. So now we have our product layout. We'll save that. 
Then we'll head over to the front end and let's choose a product. So here we have the layout as we've created it in the back end, the image on the left, the basic product information here and the pricing on the right. So what we want to have happen this time is that as the page scrolls, the price box will remain permanently visible on the right hand side and just the product information, the product tabs and the related posts will scroll up. So let's head back to the back end. Busy loading up. Now what we can do is add the product tabs and also the related products. So let's open up our structure and we know that it'll be in the left hand column. So let's add in the First thing that we're going to do is add in the product tabs and the product tabs will fit in the middle column. So we'll go to add WooCommerce and product tabs. And we'll add that here in the middle and we'll also make sure that the uh, content typography is padding to the left. We'll make that title, that heading, we'll set the font size to zero because we already have description up there. And then we're going to go to the content and we'll give the content a 15 pixel spread on the left and right. And we'll just go up one to the above element, put in some space and make that 20 pixels below. So. That is the layout as we have it at the moment. Let's save. Just have a quick look at that on the front end. So here you can see we have our product and then we have our tabs here ready for us to, to um, do the ratings. And we're going to add the related products in as well. But we can look at changing some of the sizing here because we don't need so much space on the far right hand side. So the far right hand div, we're going to knock that down to 20. And then we're going to go to the that's already adjusted to 80%. And then here instead of going 50-50 uh, using that 100%, we're now going to go with a 40 and a 60 split. Let's have a look at that. So there we go. So now we have um, more space here for the content, a little bit less for the cart. We don't need that much space. And there we have the, the image. And now we want to add the related products. So one choice would be to add related products to this column. Let's have a look at related products. Normally we would have four related products. That might be too many in this case. Let's have a look. Let's change the title once again. Let's drop down the font weight. Let's change the size. Uh, maybe a bit smaller. Right, and then let's have a look at the layout and the inner padding. Let's not change anything there. And let's change that to a three column layout. So that might be better or even a two column. So maybe we can do the two column and that will give us four products, but underneath each other. So when we refresh the page, you'll see that we have Happy Ninja and then the related products. So it's still quite a nice layout. And what we can do is just build in some space here so that they don't touch on the side. And to do that, we can go to related products and 
we'll go to and we'll wrap that with a div instead and then what we'll do is we'll go to the size and spacing of that div and make that 15 pixels all round. So that means that when we look at this on our front end now, just a little bit of space there. Also now when we scroll down, you'll see that the price uh, doesn't move. And what we'd ideally like to do is have this price uh, add to cart button move down with the product. So always visible no matter where we are on the page. So in order to do that, we're going to head back to the um, builder and we'll head over here to the div that wraps and we're going to call that, uh, we'll just call that uh, to cart button. And now we're going to add some CSS there to make sure that that is sticky. We've added the class, which was uh, added to the div, which we will make sticky. Now what we'll do is we're going to add some custom CSS. So there are two ways to do it. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is to go to style sheets. I've created a new style sheet. Let's add another one. So I'll delete that one. So we'll say add style sheet. We'll call it custom. Okay. Inside custom, then, we're going to put this code, add to card button, position, WebKit sticky for Safari, position sticky, top zero. And we're going to save the and then we're going to refresh the page. And now if we scroll, you'll see that we have the sticky element on the right hand side, but it's a bit sticky close to the top. So if we head back to the style and we change the top and we make that 50 pixels. Let's see if that's enough. Save. And now when we scroll down, we can see that the add to cart remains sticky on the right hand side. So what we can do then, maybe that's still not comfortably off the top. Let's make a 100. And then let's head back to the structure. And then let's just make that a little bit more attractive. So just to make it stick out, uh, what we found works really well is to give it a box shadow. Let's make that a box shadow of 30. And not, not in terms of offset and 15 for the blur. And let's give that a border, a border radius of five. Let's save. Now, when we look at our product, we have the happy ninja on the right hand side. And as we scroll, so that scrolls. Let's give it a bit of spacing around the edges. So we go to that same div again, size and spacing, and let's make that 15 pixels all around. Save. And now we have a nice add to cart button that is permanently on the right hand side when we scroll. If we want to have a look at a product with some variations, let's pop along to one of those. Here we have one that says select options and let's just see what that looks like. So here we are and we can scroll and it remains visible on the right hand side. And of course we can just do some standard updates there on the layout. So we can go to the labels, make them a little bit bigger. We can go to the price amount color and typography. So let's make that color red so it's easier to see. Let's drop the font weight to 500. We can go to 
the Add to Cart button, Typography, let's change the size, make that a bit bigger. What we can also do is look at inputs, and let's make the inputs bigger as well. Save. And now you can see it's, it's a lot bolder. And let's just up that price size a little bit. So back to the price amount, color and typography, and let's make that 20, and let's give that a line height of 1.5. And the other thing to do is the clear button is very small, the link, and let's make that 18 pixels, so it's nice and easy to see. So here we are on the page, and we can now see how nice and easy that is to see. Come along black, come along blue, and you'll see that the image also changes. And then as we scroll, that item remains permanently visible on the right hand side and we could also use that space for a promotional message or a different widget. So I think the, um, that wraps up this video. Um, one other thing that we could do just to neaten things up a bit is the, perhaps the div here should be aligned to the left and what we can do is set the width to 100 and then set the typography to centered um, the same with the price or we could wrap the price with a div set the div width to 100 percent and then just center the items in that div we have the text on the left hand side and then here with the typography we could wrap with a div and on the left hand side, give that a gap of 15 pixels. 15 pixels on the left set. Let's have a look at that on the front end of the website. All right, there we have the text, the uh, product meta on the left hand side. And of course, when we scroll, the add to cart button remains on the right hand side. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video and thank you for watching.